Hey everyone, QHA1 here. Welcome back to Let's Play TSRPR. In this part, we go through Flying Fish Bridge, which as you can tell, will have a bunch of flying cheap cheeps. Pretty obvious. And they'll be get in your way a lot, but that's just the first part of the level. The last part of the level, if I can get through it with my cape feather, I'm just gonna cheat and go through by flying over it because I don't like it, and it, ugh, I don't like it. Just a note. Now, this is part 17. I apologize for no videos being uploaded yesterday. This should be part 18, but I... When I was trying to record this level, this level wasn't the hard level. It was one of the levels I want to do later that I just kept dying on so much I couldn't get successful recording. I just kept lagging. And... Wow. That was major freaking lag right there for no reason. I even felt it on my game. Huh. Don't know why I've been doing that. All of a sudden, it just started randomly lagging like that. Huh. Hopefully, it doesn't do that too much. Or else, I'm probably going to have to scrap this recording. And I don't want to do that. Especially if this is a good recording. Which it probably won't be because I've died so much getting through one level that it just it's amazing. Now, this part has charging trucks and falling platforms like this. So, you just have to be a little quick. It's not Mega Man quick or anything. Like... Um, quick man stage, but you still have to be, you can't make too much mistakes. Well, actually, you don't really, you don't have to be that quick. Anyways, actually, I think that moon is from, I think the background is from Alfred Chicken, if I'm not mistaken. If anyone doesn't know what Alfred Chicken is, it's a really good, um, it's apparently some platformer, like, exploration platformer thing. Yeah, it looks really good. I watched, um, the creator FPI. He has videos of it on YouTube, and it looks really nice. I want to play it one day, but never got around to it. Now, it, I don't know why, but it forces you to get this, um, fire flower. If I can get over it, aw. I don't want to lose my fire. I don't want to lose my cape feather. Now, ready? I'm supposed to jump and just keep jumping over and over. Jump and run, jump and run. That's the gimmick of this part, but I'm not going to do it, because I don't want to. Or else, or maybe I have to. But the threshold for running up these are not that much. I can actually do it right here. If I can get it. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. And there we go. Done! Level complete! Okay, I'm not gonna whistle. Admittedly, I really, really suck at whistling. I barely know how to whistle at this point. Now, this takes us all the way to Sandy Shrine, which is the Sixth World Castle. And actually, I'm going to show off the secret exit so I can get all the warps. Now, this will take us about 30 seconds. Ready? And there you go. <laughs> Create commentary because I don't have that backstory like everyone does. It's like, oh, I don't, I don't have that. There's where the secret exit is. Seriously, that's it. Now, if you haven't noticed, they keep the state of your animation when you go through pipes or collect the um, pea balloon. So that's why when I fly through the pipe, I end up in a um, floating animation like I did. Because, well, it's apparently it keeps your animation. I don't know why it does that, but I guess it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. It can be a double-edged sword. And Little Glory takes us. It takes us back to where we began! Wow! Admittedly, this is... I've been... I've said this before, but it's kind of hard to big, expensive store that everyone loves. I'm just a seven-year-old who goes to school, comes home, talks to online friends, and that's it. I mean, that's a really boring story. That's why I talk about stuff that happened recently or whatever. Anyways, going to the level that really is annoying as hell. Pyramid Pass. You're really wondering, why is this level hard, QHA1? Because, I'll show you in just a second. Now, first off... You have to grow your Yoshi by eating these Koopas, or as Trid calls them, oversized, steroid-infused, um, turtles. I think that's what he called them anyways. Just don't lose your Yoshi. I don't, it's not essential that you keep your Yoshi, but just for the sake of convenience, keep them anyways. I don't know why, um, they give you a Yoshi in this level besides convenience, and maybe if you want to sacrifice them to stay alive. Now, see those blocks? They're like... You don't fall through them, but see, you just, the more you walk on them, you fall through. So, 
if you stand completely still, which I min never really figured realized that until now, you can just stay on top of them. Like that. It makes it easier, but why would you want to stay still anyways? So that's why you just have to jump. Basically, oh god, come on. Get out of my way, you stupid Koopa. Now the hard part of this level is coming up right after the halfway point. If I can keep my power up and all that. And if you collect... Each time you eat a um, Koopa with a Yoshi, it does a def different effect. It can be eat a red one. It, I think I've already explained this, but... If you eat a red one, it spits out big fireballs. If you eat like, a green or yellow one, it gets a... Um, Ground pound. If you collect a blue one, you get wings. Pretty simple. Yeah, see, I just get probably one of the hardest parts of the level. Right there, that's the hardest part of the level. I'm gonna beat um Sandy Shrines, and then I'm probably gonna end the video if I have more time. I might show off the um. I'm not gonna do the special secret warp levels until later because um a separate video to show them off at once and then. Maybe I'll show them off this episode. I think I have time. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on if I can get through this without dying. If I can get through this... No! Yoshi! No! Eh. I'm doing good on this level. I'm doing good. I haven't died once yet. If I do the um, five special stages, I won't even die in them. Because they're really easy. Wait, I got hit. There we go. Probably one of my least favorite levels in this game so far, besides Yoshi's final FIGHT! Ugh. I am not looking forward to that at all. And there you go. Sandy Shrine we go. Eh, I still need to do, um, Lost Pipeline and all that, so I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm gonna show off these real quick. Wait. Not there. Yeah, let's not go there. We're gonna do these in order. And I remember how to get all of them, so... Just a matter of not dying. The only one I'm really concerned about is Scrap Brain Zone, but then again, everyone hates Scrap Brain Zone. Now, all these have a normal and secret exit. I'm just gonna show off the secret exit, because the normal exit doesn't do anything. I might show off where the normal exit is, but the Cape Feather breaks so many of these levels, it is not funny. I swear. Now, see... They're all based off Sonic levels, and even the coins have been transformed into rings. Good effect, and great. I forgot I had that in my hand. Now. Yeah, about the only- There's nothing really hard about this stage, really, there isn't. This level is pretty easy. Except for me, um, getting hit by that stupid Koopa that I had in my hand. And see? I don't know if they are, um... I don't know if those hedgehogs are custom edits of enemies or their their own special custom enemy, but anyways, when this is the only hard part of the level, in my opinion, is just getting over these. If you can do that, well, normally I just cheat through these levels with the um fe cape feather, but I can't. But I think you, yeah, you need to get up here. I somehow get up there. Okay, getting to these with small Mario, I haven't done in like freaking forever. Now, you just go over here to our little area. And right there is the key. There you go. Takes you to a warp. There you go. I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna show off all of these if I have the time. Yeah, it's only at nine minutes. And there you go. Next part. Now, since we're so close to it, I'm just gonna collect my cape feathers and go along. And I'm not gonna do speed up time, which has become like one of my big things on my video, where I just use the um, speed up key and it just speeds up the vi um, gameplay a bit. Most emulators have it. Some emulators don't, but some a lot of emulators have it, where it just speeds up the gameplay and all that. Good way if you're just going through the same repetitive motions or you're trying to get a, um, cape feather like I am. Just to speed it up and you don't take too long. That way you don't have to edit the video, which I don't like editing videos. Anyways, moving on. We're in the marble zone. This is probably the only... Yeah, besides this. 
this is actually one. Just an FAQ, this is one of the first levels I ever wanted to record. I tried to record this as my first video. It was TSRPR, the original version of this level. I wanted to show off the secret exit, but due to recording errors and the fact that I kept dying, I never got around to doing it. I actually did get recorded this level because I recorded all the secret exits of these levels, except for um, Scrap Brain Zone because, well, I couldn't get it at the time. I love Marble Zone in Sonic 1. It's like really different from any of the other zones where you can just kind of run through it. I remember when this part used to be like super, super hard for me, and then now it's just like nothing. That jump can like really trick you up. Those kind of the jumps can really, really trip you up. You're like, okay, this is gonna be an easy jump, bump, and then you fall into the lava, and you're like, crap, why? And then it's like, Bleh. So. Today we did this test. Um, it was basically like something to show your comprehension. And the natural average for it was like 60 for the test I did. And I got 73. So I beat. Nat stay average was like 61. Natural average was 65. I got 73. I did good. So I don't have to do the finals. Which, really good. Now. You can just use the... Now you need the P-switch to get through this. Now these act as, uh, springs. Basically. Ow. Now, to this level, Oop, you can uh, actually... I took me a while to do this my first time there because we go. I sucked at it. Now see, go down here I'm for the key. I don't know. Don't go up there. I don't know what I'm saying. He's not down there. I think I was trying to say something and then... Because you need the P-switch oh, no. to get the key. But you need to... No! Run through here. I don't like this. No. No. Well. Great. I'm gonna show off this level. Can't believe I died. Speed time. Trust me, it's not that hard. I just screwed up really easily. You can screw up really easily in the level, though. That level. Don't know why I do that. Okay, I have time to show off, like, one more after this, I think. I thought I was going to show these off in different videos, but I guess I have enough time to do it. Since I figured that, figured I had enough time to do it, I just going to show these off anyways. Yeah, this spring yard zone wasn't my particular favorite. You know what, screw it, let's just go the other way. You know that, well, screw it, I'm wasting time. But I want to go through this part anyways, like this. Haha. <laughs> Ow! Stupid Koopa. I swear. There we go. Now see... I'm... I don't know. I don't know what I was saying! I was thinking I was trying to say something and then... No, no! No! I don't like this level. I don't know why I, I suck at it. Bleh. I don't like this level. Anyways, on the next part of TSRPR, we go through Spring Yard Zone and the rest of the Secret Warp levels. This is QHA1 signing off. Have a good day.